I am gonna dish this Harley Davidson gas tank Indian Larry style. I'm gonna weld a piece of steel rod around the rim and the hammer the indents in um, the way they do it. A lot of people do it different ways. I'm gonna do it the way Larry and Paul Cox and Kano did it because to me that's the way it ought to be done. I begin by removing this fuel door. This is not a fuel injected bike. You know me, I'm, I'm a carbureted guy. Everybody likes fuel injection, but I'm still getting over 40 miles a gallon on my Harley flathead. But when you pull this fuel door off, inside here is all the fuel pump and the sending unit for the uh, fuel gauge and all the electrical stuff that goes in this bike. So I've got to make sure that when I knock this skin on this tank, that that skin doesn't interfere with any of these electrical fuel pump and fuel sending parts that are inside the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the finish off this tank so I have bare metal to weld to. All right, I huffed about a pound of Harley Davidson powder coating dust. Um, I'm pretty sure these things are powder coated, but I got these sides all, um, you know, all down to the bare steel. And now I can use my steel rod, make a perimeter ring, and I weld to both sides, and I can hammer these in, sides in, and it's done. So I took a piece of uh, mild steel TIG welding wire and just bent it around and um, fusion welded it on the end there. This is gonna be the ring that goes around the dish portion of this tank. So I cut two pieces of quarter inch round steel bar stock. Now I'm gonna bend these around just like this template and I'm gonna weld these to the sides of that gas tank. Choosing this engine pulley, it's gonna give me exactly the radius I want. I just find something around the shop that's the radius I want bring it back. I got basically the general outline for my two, my two tank rings. So I've got my, my rings made for my dish. You can see they're flat and there's a little bit of contour this, to this tank. So I'm gonna use the old knee trick everybody's seen me do for a lot of years and just tweak this over my knee and get it to, um, and get it to, to mimic the shape of the tank. There's my fit. I'm gonna weld these two rod sections to both sides of the gas tank. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dish it. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna beat this thing like it owes me money. Um, I'm just gonna start hammering around the center. I do, I'm gonna do this left side first because this is the side that has the uh, fuel pump and the pickup and the fuel sender on on this side. So I gotta make sure as I hammer, I don't go in and knock this panel into those parts and damage those pieces. So I'll do this side first, then go around the mirror what I do on this side to the other side. See, it starts off slow, but it'll start to really take shape as I hammer it in. We did a biker build-off in 2006 with Russell Mitchell. And um, George Barris came down to visit me. And he brought me a bunch of stuff. One of the things he brought me was this metal shaping hammer and George uh, drew a little wacky spiral on the front of it and my name on it with a sharpie and some 
I don't know if it's crayon marks or colored Sharpie, but um, had a nice memento of a legend gone. You can see my man even put the Barris logo on the bottom of that hammer. So after a few minutes of sweat, side I have it hammered, side I have hammered. You can see it's starting to really dish in. I'll continue to work it. You know, then the body man will come in and he'll float filler all up against this rod. He'll blend all this in. It'll give it a really nice deep dish effect. And then the later look on a fuel injected Harley Davidson.